Now in this lesson we do some work on language of chance. Now we can use the word certain when something definitely will happen. We use the word impossible if something definitely will not happen. And sometimes we say that that has got no chance. The word possible is used when something might happen or it might not happen. Let's take a look at an example, see how it all works. Eight different shapes are cut out and placed on a table. We've got a triangle, a square, a pentagon, it's got five sides, a hexagon has six sides, a rhombus, that's where all the sides are the same there, another triangle, a rectangle, and a trapezium. Now, what's the chance of picking, firstly, a triangle? Well, we can see that there's a triangle, and we've got another triangle there, so it is possible to pick a triangle. What's the chance of picking an oval? Hmm, well do you see any ovals there? No, I didn't think so. So in this case it's impossible to pick an oval. It definitely won't happen. What's the chance of picking a shape with straight sides? Now every single one of those shapes has got straight sides. So you are certain to pick a shape with straight sides. What's the chance of picking a shape with five sides? Okay, in other words, a pentagon. Well, there's one there, so it is possible to pick that. What's the chance of picking a shape with less than ten sides? Well, looking at each of those shapes, every single one of them has less than ten sides, so it is certain that the shape you pick will have less than ten sides. It's certain, it will happen. What's the chance of picking a shape with more than four sides? Well, well, there's a pentagon, it's got more than four sides, so is that hexagon, so again, this is possible, isn't it? What's the chance of picking a blue square? Hmm, I can't really see any blue squares, can you? Well, no, you can't, so in this case, it is impossible. Excellent, well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.